Hello, ladies and gentlemen. If you're a Mac user, you'll want to pay attention to this video. This is how to set up your GCC compiler on Mac OS. Now, there is a default compiler that it doesn't come with Mac OS, but gets installed naturally when you want to compile some C++ programs, and that's the Clang or CLang compiler. That's a fine compiler, but it'll give you different errors and warning messages. And so for consistency, uh, we're going to install GCC, which is what we're using for everybody else. And so it's really not a difficult process, but you do have to follow a few steps. And so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up our terminal. That's the command line in Mac OS. And so this is where you'll be compiling all of your programs. So if you go to go and utilities, you'll find at the bottom, there's the terminal. And you can also use the spotlight feature to just search for terminal, of course. And so here's where we're going to type in our commands to compile stuff. I'm assuming that you've watched the video on how to use a command line. We're going to use some basic instructions there. If you haven't watched that video, uh, check it out. Okay. We're going to go to a website. I'm going to load up brew.sh. And this is going to be uh, the site to install Homebrew. Homebrew is a really nice piece of software that allows us to install packages in Mac OS that aren't traditionally available to us. So it's really simple. We're just going to copy this line of code here and we're going to paste that into our terminal. And then I'm going to hit enter and it'll look through and see what it's going to do. I'm going to press return to continue and I'm going to enter my password. You'll need to be an admin to do this and we'll just let it run. Um, this will take uh, a little bit of time. Uh, we're going to actually, in this process, set up the C Lang compiler also. So that's just a part of the embedded steps here. Um, but we can just let this run. And if you need to enter your password again or accept the license agreement, do so. I'm going to fast forward this part of the video. Okay, so now we have it installed and set up. That's Homebrew. So now with Homebrew, we can install our GCC compiler so we can compile C++ programs. And what we're going to do here is we're going to type brew install. And then the package we want to install is just GCC. I'm going to hit enter. Now we have installed GCC, so now we can use our G++ compiler. And the way we would do that is by typing G++-7 dash, dash and then the same parameters we would use to compile a program. Now I'm going to just type in G++-7. You can see it actually shows um, that we have no input files, but it's actually working. And I can actually type dash dash version and we can see that it is G++ 7. Now in all of my videos that I do in class, I just write G++. And if you do that on your system as it is right now and hit enter, you'll see instead of saying uh, no input files with the G++ 7, it actually says Clang. It's actually not using G++, it's actually using the alias for G++ and pointing to Clang. Uh, or CLang. And so we don't want to use the Clang compiler. We want to use the G++ compiler. And so there's a simple way to do this to add an extra step so that if we type G++, it actually runs G++ instead of um, CLang. And this is a step that's optional but helpful if you want to be able to just type G++. Uh, so to do that, we're going to go to a directory that exists on your computer. So we're going to do CD for change directory. We're going to go to slash user slash local slash bin. And in here, if I just type ls to see what's in here, you can see here's our G++ compiler. What we're going to do is we're going to make a link from the G++-7 to be G++. So I'm going to do ln, that makes a link, dash s, G++-7, G++. Now if I type ls, you can see we have a new G++ link in this folder. And that will be the one that uh, macOS reads by default. 
one other thing we need to do after um, this is we need to sign out and sign back in in order for it to recognize um, the new settings. So uh, we'll go ahead and log out. And now we'll log back in. Now, if you go to your terminal, so I'm just going to use Spotlight this time, search for it. and I type G++ dash version, you'll see now we're actually running the G++ 7.2 in my example. It's okay if you have a higher version. Um, so we're ready to compile our program. So now you can go check out the next video on how to compile um, C++ code using G++. As always, let me know if you have any questions.